Admin System Manager for AHM, the Channels page provides access to the processing parameters of the channels available. The first tab displays the inputs available. Input channel signal flow is displayed horizontally from left to right, with all processing functions always available on every input channel. In order, a channel number and name, input source and preamp information, gate, insert point A, parametric EQ, compressor, insert point B, delay, AMM, main output level and cross point routing. More on cross points in a further video. Notice the white line running over the top of some of the processing. This indicates that this processing is bypassed and the signal is not affected by it. If, for example, I switch the gate on, the signal now goes in and out of that part of the signal chain. The input section allows you to choose the input source for that processing channel. Set the gain, pad and phantom power if I have an analog input, the digital trim and polarity, and stereo mode and width if I am working on a stereo channel. The gate has advanced ballistic parameters as well as a practical histogram showing its activity over a 10 second time window. It can also be switched to ducker mode allowing that channel to be ducked or attenuated, most probably by side chaining from another channel. Imagine background music being ducked when a microphone announcement is made for example. There are two insert points in the signal chain, one before and one after parametric EQ and compression. This might be used to insert external processing via an analog or digital external I.O. or for inserting processing from the optional card slot on AHM. There's an 8-band parametric EQ on every single input channel and you can choose the slope of each band individually from the usual list of high pass, low pass, high shelf, low shelf, bell and also a constant Q bell. Each input has a compressor that can be peak or RMS with full controls including soft or hard knee. The compressor can also be triggered from an external sidechain source which could be an input or a zone. Each input has its own delay with a maximum value of 683 milliseconds which can be set in milliseconds, meters, feet and samples and even includes temperature compensation for adjusting delay values based in distance. AMM is Allendon Heath's automatic mic mixer. There are eight individual AMM engines available in AHM64, four in AHM32 and one in AHM16, allowing separate automatic mic mixing from multiple locations at the same time. AMM benefits from the D-Classic and NOM modes. More on this in an AMM specific video. The level fader is the master level for this input channel and in this window you can also mute or unmute this channel. In the cross point routing tab, the selected input channel can be assigned to any of the 64 zones available by pressing the edit routing button and the send level to the assigned zones can be adjusted. Notice that only the assigned zones appear on this tab, making it clear and easy to adjust levels to the correct zones.